Hello everybody, this is Gary. <clears throat> Today is Tuesday, November 15, 2022. It is 2.32 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States in Rochester, New York. And this is my coping with schizophrenia blog entry for today. Um, today I'm doing pretty good. I went out for my walk in daily um, physical therapy exercises. I did some work on my computer. Um, I'm doing this video because I didn't do one yesterday. I felt pretty crappy yesterday. I didn't get much accomplished. Um, today I'm feeling a lot better. Um, as far as my symptoms go, my paranoia is not that bad today. I went outside, I went food shopping, and I didn't feel like I was being followed or spied on or plotted against or talked about or laughed at. Um, my auditory hallucinations are not that bad today. My depression and anxiety aren't that bad today. I'm a lot more stable today than I was yesterday. And the day before that, I felt like crap on Sunday and Monday. Um, I did have to contact my primary care doctor, my gastroenterologist, because I had some blood in my stool when going to the bathroom. They told me that it didn't sound alarming, but if it got worse to go to the emergency room, it was only a few drops of blood. Um, it could be hemorrhoids. It could be a lot of things that are minor. Um, but for now, they told me not to worry about it. But if it gets worse to go to the emergency room, um, you should never ignore symptoms like that. That's why I called my gastroenterologist in the first place. We set up an appointment for, um, I believe, December 5th to see my gastroenterologist. Um, I have a lot of issues with my gut. I have diverticulitis, um, constipation from my psychiatric meds, which I have to take laxatives for to prevent in the first place. Um, so um, taking psychiatric drugs can certainly cause side effects. And then you have to take medications for the side effects of other medications. That's why I'm on like 13 or 14 different medications that I take at different times throughout the day. Um, but psychiatric meds can definitely cause side effects that are pretty severe. Um, without the laxatives, I've often had constipation for like four or five, six days. And then I would have to go have to go to the emergency room because of my um, colon was all backed up and they would stick a tube up my butt and flush everything out um, and I would rather not have that happen so I take three different laxatives throughout the day Miralax, Senna and the Senecot. Um but uh, other than that everything's going pretty good today I feel a lot better today, physically and mentally. Yesterday, I was really, really, really agitated and didn't get anything accomplished whatsoever. Um, but I was feeling better when I got up this morning and I got more accomplished today. I stuck to my daily schedule today. I am seeing my primary care not for another five or six months. I'm seeing my psychiatrist, I believe, on... December 8th or somewhere about then. I'm seeing my therapist next week. And I'm seeing my primary, or not my primary care, my peer support specialist a week after that. Um, I try to keep all my appointments. It's rare that I miss an appointment with one of my medical providers. I like to make sure that I'm, I stay on top of things, um, whether it's my psychiatrist, my therapist, my doctor's, my specialist, my peer support specialist. Um, I try to keep all my appointments whenever possible because it prevents me from having to go to the psychiatric emergency room or the regular emergency room if I stay up to date on all my health exams and all my health appointments, all my therapy appointments and all my psychiatric appointments. It's very important for me to keep all of my appointments with rare exception. Um, 
especially after feeling so crappy over the weekend, um, I did avoid going to the psychiatric emergency room yesterday. I was tempted to go, but I didn't think anything would be accomplished by it because I wasn't actively suicidal or potentially violent. I had control over my behavior, so there was no real need to go to the psychiatric emergency room to get evaluated because I wasn't dangerous to myself or to other people. Um, so that's all for now.